Hello everyone and welcome to my recorded worship session for this week and I'm going to start by lighting the candle and saying Jesus said I am the light of the world. Let's just say that together. Jesus said I am the light of the world. Oh doesn't want to go out. There we go. Got it out. So I've got with me today just down here um, something that I think is really, really valuable. Um, and it's a, I, you could describe it as a treasure, I think. I certainly would describe it as a treasure. And I wonder if anyone can give some ideas of, uh, of what it might be. You might um, be thinking perhaps that um, it's some money, uh, maybe some jewellery, uh, perhaps some, uh, um, something really valuable like a, um, a you know, a, a, really top Pokemon card perhaps or a, um, an Xbox, an Xbox game. Uh, maybe it's a signed photo of someone famous. Well, we'll find out a little bit later, but it is something that I think is quite precious to me. Um, and this week in our worship, we're learning all about uh, the fruits of the Spirit. Or for, or for the next rest of the term, we'll be learning about the fruits of the Spirit. And the one that we're going to be learning about this week is love and love to me is a really really important thing um at st nick's we have uh, our school vision our school motto which is love your neighbor as you love yourself um we had heard heard about that in the good samaritan story last week um and it's so, and love is such an important thing and i'm going to tell you the story today about somebody who really loved something um, unfortunately, the thing that this person really loved was gold, um, and his name was King Midas. You might have heard of him before. Well, King Midas was a really, really greedy person. He was very rich already, but he wanted to be richer, and he wanted more gold. Okay, I'm sure some of you uh, probably quite like having uh, seen gold things and having gold things and thinking, thinking gold's really precious, but King Midas really was greedy for gold. Um, he lived in ancient Greece and um, he prayed to the Greek gods um, and his prayer was um, to turn that everything that he touched should turn to gold. Well, King Midas's wish was granted and soon everything that he touched began to turn to gold. So he thought when his, when his wish was granted, he thought, well, OK, let's have um, a gold candle. So he touched the candle and it turned to gold. Let's have um, a gold chair. So he touched the chair and it turned to gold. And he was thinking, wow, this is amazing. Everything I touched turned to gold. He put his hand down and the chair he was sitting on had turned to gold. Um, well, I saw a gold radiator. He probably didn't have radiators at the time, but um, even if they, even if they had, uh, had done, it would have turned to gold at that moment. But life wasn't quite what he expected it to be. The trees and the flowers that he touched became stiff because they were made of gold. He couldn't eat any food because it turned into gold. He couldn't ride his horse, stroke his dogs, or anything that he was really enjoying doing. He had, you know, all these things had turned to gold, but the worst was yet to come. The one thing that the king loved almost as much or as much as gold was his beautiful little daughter. When she came into the room, she put her arms out and she ran towards him. Without thinking, King Midas put his arms around her and then he remembered, but it was too late. His precious child had turned into a golden statue. She looked really beautiful, but she couldn't speak to him anymore. Her eyes were fixed and staring, her body was cold and lifeless, and he realised what a terrible thing he'd done. So he fell down on his knees and begged the gods to give him back his little girl. He promised that he'd give his wealth to the poor and be a better person in the future. Well, the gods took pity on him, the Greek gods, and they saw how sorry he was and they agreed to take his power away. And at once the spell was broken and his daughter returned to him and everything else that he touched turned back to normal again. Well, King Midas did as he promised. No one went hungry in his kingdom. Everyone loved him and he became a better person and a better king. And he learned that his love for his daughter was more important than his love of gold. She was his greatest treasure. Now, I said that I had um, a great treasure with me today, and I do. Um, this is something that I treasure 
very highly. This is a picture I have in my office at St Nick's of my four children. It's a silhouette picture that we took on a holiday uh, in Spain um, as the sun set. But these four children of mine, they're quite old now, the youngest one's 12, the oldest one's 20, are, oh, they are a real treasure for me because they are some of the most special people in the world to me. Um, and my family is really, really important. And love is such an important part of our lives. We need to make sure that we love the most important things in our lives, which are the people around us, our families, our friends. And let's try and really think about what the real treasure in life is. I'm going to say a prayer now. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to be thankful for all the treasures around us that we take for granted, for the beauty of the earth, the sky and the sea. We give thanks for our families, for our homes, for everyone that we love. We give thanks for everything that we enjoy in life. And we pray for peace in the world so that everyone can share the wonderful treasures that you have given to us. Amen. So let's just think about that. Let's think about love this week and really making sure that we treasure the things that are really important in life. I'm going to blow out the candle now. And I'm going to say, and let's say together, loving God, help me to shine like a light in the world. Thank you. Have a lovely week. Bye.